I'm looking good, YouTube. My name is Love Game or PD1 Piranha, if you prefer, and welcome back to Let's Play Zoids Battle Legends. You know what? This is Zoids game. I haven't said it yet. So I'm a man destined to be king. Damn it! But yeah, we're back with our D Bison here, and of course the Lena Toros colors. Lena only had this Zoid for about six episodes. Fun fact, if you didn't know that. Didn't have a lot of uh, screen time in. What the hell? Why is this theme playing on this map? This isn't correct. Say, you hear the Zoids voices? I won't comment on it yet. Why I think this theme is interesting, but you'll get to you'll have to wait for that one. Yeah, we have to kill every single Zoid in this map, so let's have some fun with that. Can we take that turret out? There we go. Much more tolerable. So we got our Iron Kongs here. Some pretty big boys. Oh yeah, I know this map. I can't remember it now. It's been a minute. But I do recall... This one isn't too bad, actually. This is more of a breather compared to what we've been doing, so... I will welcome the... drop in difficulty for once. <laughs> I'm just I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here. Not a hammer rock, though. It's more of a smaller iron kong. Maybe it is. This is like the radar base or whatever, so... I have no memory of it, though. Just keep this theme in mind for who will show up later. Oops. There we go. That's much better. What the fuck is the camera doing? This is a bad position for me. Wow, there's a lot of them. Okay. Get out of Well, I thought I was going to get out, but I'm just going to take massive damage. Taking massive damage for no reason, of course. Now, this map can be kind of annoying because there's a lot of, uh... A lot of boys here at once, and they're all going to gang up on you. So, leading them out of these walls can be the best option sometimes, but... Once again, you're kind of outclassed here. It's one of the biggest problems, is you don't nearly have the firepower and the... And the firepower more so than the health that they do. Like, they're just extreme fucking tanks over here compared to you, so... Kind of a one-by-one -one strat is your best option here. I can't lock on for some reason. damage I'm doing compared to... I can't even get up this incline. This guy's got a few ideas, but... I think I'm gonna let him come to fruition. Yeah, I cannot hit this guy with missiles for the life of me. Anyways... It does feel a bit good to be back to Zoids, because I've been wanting to do this game again... or, well, do this game, period, since last year, but... A lot of stuff came up last year with the new job and all that, so... It just didn't happen, but like... I know it's kind of a weird, superficial thing, but like, November always gets me in the mood for Zoids, because that was when I first got back into New Century, way back in 2011, in my fucking senior year of high school. So, a long time ago, but... It does kind of like, take me back in that sense, for sure. Yeah, I'm not doing so hot in this map, though, just because... Well, because I suck, but, you know, what are you going to do? Can you truly berate me that much? Can your conscience allow you to do it? I'm wondering if I can even show this off at all, because it's so fucking awkward to do. So, I'll walk onto this guy. Where did he go? There we go. Get blown away! There we go. Come on, do it. Did you say tolerate it? Well, at least I got to show it off before I died. So I'm definitely dead now, for sure. <laughs> I have zero chance at this little pip of health that I have going on with Mr. Super Tank over here. Yeah. 
course he's gonna do this. Just hide behind there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have a lot I can do against him at this kind of range. Well, unless he runs the fuck away, maybe I can hit him. But I, I, I can't fuck up whatsoever now. I'm literally, I have to play perfect from here on out, which I'm not doing in the slightest. I have to, like, get him the fuck away from me. This map is not helping at all, by the way. It's completely cleared off, even though the actual map itself is not is anything but. I have another EX, but... Grant that I could ever actually use it. So awkward to use. So fucking awkward to use. Tolerated and fucking deed. Wow, it actually hit. Okay, I can sheep this out. Let's see if this actually works. Let's see. Tolerated indeed. Wow, can I actually do this? This is gonna be fucking glorious. Wow. Keep my distance, obviously, but. If the move came out consistently and didn't do the fucking melee attack every time, I might be able to actually pull this off, but... This guy has a fucking bead and a half on me. Let's see here. Not gonna hit. Nope, I'm dead. Oh, maybe not. Let's see if I can drag this out for as long as humanly possible until the timer runs out anyway and I lose regardless. Yeah, it does the melee attack half the time, because that's like the same... I'm hitting A and X at the same time, but it doesn't register it that way. What the... oh, well, shit. Didn't account for that at all. Yeah, I might be dead anyway. It was a valiant attempt, regardless. To cheap the thing out. Maybe? Maybe I can do it? Let's see. Uh, we both have, like, one hit left, essentially. Thing is, he has such a fucking bead on me, and I have these assholes with their fucking homing shots, so... God. That's so annoying. I'm literally a hit away, but I'm also a hit away from dying, so... That does no damage, jeez. Do I win? Wow. Holy shit, with nothing on the... Well, nothing on the clock and nothing on the health bar. That's interesting to see. I had to use the D-Bison at least once, though, because it is a nice, iconic Zoid. The one made by the... Well, the Guardian Force when the Republic and the Empire aligned, so... It was never all that good, though, in the show. Like, it was... Not horrible. It just wasn't... I believe the only time that Lena ever did anything with that thing was whenever she won that fight against, um, the champ team. But, I mean, that's, like, nothing to brag about. Whereas, you know, Thomas did use it occasionally to effect, but Thomas was kind of the hairy champ of, uh, of Chaotic Century, if that tells you anything. What the fuck is this frontward-facing... If I was John, I'd use that as my thumbnail. <laughs> That's pretty great. Okay, what are we doing next? Alright. The Gojolus, you say? Hmm. I could have some fun with that. So yeah, fuck the Gojolus. It has no missiles. You need missiles to do anything in this damn game. So let's meander our way over into the city. Oh, 
Unfortunately, this kind of creates a lot of cover for them, but at the same time, it does actual tangible damage rather than just kind of scratching them a little bit on the surface where they can do half my fucking health in one hit, so... Given the choice, you know my vote. Of course, he fucking runs off somewhere. There we go. You're not going anywhere. Come on. There we go. Did that not hit him at all? I don't need the sniper rifle, thank you. At least that kind of hurts him. Unfortunately, once I find one, the other one kind of gangs up on you. Sometimes you don't have any fucking teammates in this, which is really the worst, because... Even when the AI sucks, they can still, you know, draw fire, so it's something at the very least. There's that Geno Breaker, okay. Let's see if I can get these missiles to turn around in midair. Man, that is like almost impossible though, damn. Of course he has a shield too, because why wouldn't he? Still doing better damage than I did with the fucking Gojolus. Why is that thing such a like bitch when it comes to actual damage? Just takes damage, but it can't put it out for the life of it. There we go. Get a few hits on it. Better than last time, at least. I'll take even the most basic of improvement at this point, just because, like, fucker has a shield and outclasses me greatly, but you know what? Tears are for, uh, bad people. Not for those who uh, are born with a different orientation, because um, that's not a good way to say that. I mean, why would a tier listing in a video game uh, regard your sexual orientation when it's something you can't help? It's not a good way to say that. But I can't think of anything that rhymes with uh, tears, so... Uh, tier placements means you reside in your basement. There you go. How about that? I remember, like, way back when I was in, in high school and all that, everyone would use, like, gay as an insult for, like, a general... Just a general insult for something they didn't, they didn't like, so it's kind of funny to, like, think about how... On one hand, it was, like associating being gay with, like, that's stupid or that's bad, but it's also, like, reappropriating the... Can I fit through that? No. Like, reappropriating the word as well, so... Kind of a weird mix of giving negative connotation to something, but also trying to maybe indirectly deflect some of the negative connotation off of the word itself and making it, like, reappropriate into a different word. I don't know. Did I ever say before that I don't like how they turned dab into yeah, like something anywhere. that's like that kids say for a, a dance when like literally it's it's a reference to drugs? Well it's a reference to weed, so like I'm not obviously you know me before I've smoked many times, I've smoked plenty of the green, but I don't want children getting into it. That's just me. I don't think kids should get into that kind of thing, so... When I see, like, dab is in the dance, it's literally based off of the idea that you cough into your elbow because a dab, which is like a... It's like, not oil, but like wax made from weed. Hashish, basically. A dab of that... It's like so harsh, you will cough, and you don't want to cough into your friend's face, so... You cough into your elbow instead. But yeah. 
yeah. Oh. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Yeah, so I don't like when a word like that is reappropriated to be used as, like, something that children often say. So we'll go ahead and, yeah, uh, cooperate. Why not? I'll just pick A for the entire time, because consistency. Why not? And would you look who it is? I have no proper fan fairy yet, because I don't have, um, Sporticus here with me, but... We'll keep you on the back burner, my delicious thick waifu. Like, one of my OG... I don't know if I mentioned it before, but... I probably did in my Zoid's Legacy LP, how, like... Back when I played Zoid's Legacy, I... kind of thought the idea of waifus to be superfluous and... like, stupid, and I wasn't a weeb back then, so... I was more, like, ashamed of being attracted to an anime character, which is nowadays I'm... Like, fuck it. I wear that badge with pride. We'll do one more uh, mission and call it quits for right now. Oh, the Koenig Wolf. Wait a minute. Is this the mission? Hmm. What's the map? Gorge? Okay. It's not the mission just yet, so we'll hold off. We'll go back to Zen. Go for the Koenig Wolf, why not? Let's go ahead and knock this out. Yeah, I'll have Spartacus with me later, so... We'll go ahead and get that John going on when the time is right. Wait, not the device, and where's the, um, Liger? There we go. There we go. You have more of a general idea of what this game is like now. I never liked the general color scheme. Excuse me. The color scheme of the Koenig Wolf, because, like, do you notice its teeth and all that? Like, its entire... It's too mono color for me. If they make more detailed like color pieces on it, I'd like it more, but it's too static, I guess, is the, the best way of saying it. Of course, the DSR. Gotta have that. Can't even go without that deliciousness right there. That's all you need to. Go ahead with the booster. Plenty of armor. The SB, you know, for Spongebob. Alright, and let's go ahead and color this thing as well, because I don't like this white. I'm not feeling the white. Purple? Red? Mmm. I'm feeling the red, honestly, yeah. If I ever got one of those, I would repaint it, because I don't like the static, like how everything is just one fucking color, except for the frame, which is gray, which is, you know, it makes sense, but. Say, hear the this isn't too bad. It's a little bit tricky, but it's definitely doable. Tricky but doable is a rat trap, let's say. Can I not lock onto this thing seriously? There we go. <laughs> Anticlimactic. But yeah, this thing is one of your better zoids for the entire mission mode. Just because it's more versatile, I guess. Yeah, we have, of course, the... Don't interrupt me when I'm trying to explain who you are. Mr. Death Stinger over here. Faster than you might expect for a boss zoid, but it is a boss zoid. Okay, you're being a little bit of a tryhard, I'll have to admit. Uh-oh. Okay. But yeah, again, boss, boss Zoids. I should say boss and Zoids at the same time. Oh shit! Get out of there. This isn't good. 
Yeah, each one of these maps has like a boundary to it, almost like Star Wars Battlefront, so... Keep that in mind when you're evading, I suppose. The only bad part about this is like these turrets and the little shits that can annoy you every now and then. But as long as you keep it down... Get off there for one... Oh, fuck, there we go. No, Got it. it. Thankfully our AI is quite good this time around, so... We have, uh, some shred of luck on our side. Yeah, the Death Stinger is pretty cool. It's one of the Zoids that, uh... Hiltz, the second main villain of Chaotic Century, used. I don't like Hiltz all that much because he's just kind of a generic villain with no interesting motifs. Or er, motifs. Motives? Wrong fucking word there. Like, his motives aren't that interesting. They're just kind of like, oh my god, he's evil. Why does he have all these followers? He wants to take back Planet Z for the, the Zoidian race, even though... Like, I don't understand why he has, like, a whole bunch of followers that all just blindly do what he wants, because... There's only literally, like, two or three ancient Zoidians left on the entire Earth. So... Again, it makes no sense why he has, like, this entire army backing him up. Like, why... Why would he... Have all that support? It's like the game, or the game, the show me need to give him like a bunch of fucking minions and, you know, red shirts, if you will. So they just kind of gave him, whoever the fuck just wants to follow a guy who literally wants to exterminate the human race and just reclaim the entire planet for an ancient race that isn't even a, well, is mostly extinct by this point, but again, he's not that interesting, so... I'm not a big fan of Mr. Hiltz. I like Prozen. Prozen is like my favorite villain in the entire series. Because he's actually quite interesting with his motives and... He's in the battle story as well. So he's like in multiple canons, but... The general point being... The Death Stinger's dead. But yeah, I... I enjoy Prozen, and I don't know why Hiltz had to show up to kind of steal his thunder, and well... I get it, because like, Prozen is supposed to be dead, but then he kind of came back anyway, so it almost... begs the question of why he would, like, need to be that important after that point. But it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and end this part for right now. After this little, uh, quote-unquote cutscene here. Funny enough, I was talking with a guy in my high school uh, classroom one day, it was my friend Xavier, and like, he mentioned this scene in particular. I didn't know it when I was, you know, in high school because I didn't play the game yet, but he was like, this kind of taught me in a way not to trust your old friends. Kind of brings back a lot of memories in that regard. <laughs> and there's Max again, her boy. But regardless, that will be the end of this part. I'm getting kind of tired right now, so... We're going to go ahead and call it for right now. And I will see you all next time for Zoids Battle Legends. But until then, I want you all to have a lovely and safe night.